From taunts to unnecessary bravado, we've compiled a collection of moments where overconfidence meets its match, resulting in some epic takedowns and knockouts. In a plot twist that even Shakespeare would find amusing, a cocky female fighter arrived at an MMA match, armed with a rose for her opponent, convinced she was about to deliver a knockout performance. However, the universe had different plans, and her opponent turned the fight into a one-sided comedy show, leaving the overconfident fighter scrambling to catch her breath. The referee, perhaps sensing the need for mercy, stepped in to stop the fight. In a curious display of bravado, a cocky homeless man decided to turn a gas station into his personal WWE arena, banging on the store door and challenging the clerk to a showdown. However, as soon as the clerk took the bait and emerged, the self-proclaimed tough guy executed the world's fastest about face and sprinted away. In a poetic twist of karma inside the ring, a cocky fighter set the stage for his own downfall by refusing to touch gloves before the fight. Instead, he opted for an aggressive charge, ignoring his opponent's sportsmanship gesture. However, karma struck back swiftly as he found himself on the receiving end of a knockout punch. This cocky fighter reached new lows by tricking his opponent into a false glove touch before delivering a sneaky punch. However, karma was swift as the opponent retaliated with a knockout punch just as the cocky fighter attempted a kick. Good hammer fist as well. Right back up, Silva trying to engage. Oh, look at that. Wow. Touch of glove body. And again, Silva. And Silva attacks back with a kick of his own. Oh, my. Hard shot. Hit. Hit. It's all over. He's out. Nor in a street-side comedy of bravado, a cocky fighter showcased all the antics in the world but lacked the courage when faced with an unexpected opponent, an old man in green. Despite all the tough talk, the cocky fighter's bravado quickly evaporated and he found himself walking away faster than a squirrel spotting a nut. Shots. I guess in New York no one wants to get out they're busy. Yeah, I get it. Okay. This particular fighter took the cake by showcasing an impressive array of taunts, yells, and seemingly invincible bravado. However, the universe, with its sense of humor, decided to intervene. With a punch thrown and a twist of fate, the cocky fighter found himself not only on the receiving end of a blow, but also nursing a twisted ankle.
In a circus of emotions during the face-off, a cocky clown fighter brought all the hype, jumping around and making a spectacle while his opponent maintained a calm demeanor. However, once the fight began, it became apparent that the real performance was yet to unfold. To everyone's surprise, the cocky clown found himself in a chokehold in the very first round, bringing a sudden end to his animated antics. In a bizarre turn of events, a cocky fighter donned a clown mask during a weigh-in, hoping to spook his opponent. However, the opponent remained unfazed, treating the theatrics with a poker face. The cocky fighter continued his antics in the ring, only to receive a swift dose of reality as he got knocked out cold within seconds, leaving him in a state of temporary amnesia. MMA fighter Zico Mackengel opted for a pre-fight theatrics, bringing childish cockiness to the face-off. However, the octagon proved to be the ultimate reality check as his opponent, Mark Hume, took control and dominated the match. In a poetic twist, Hume had the last laugh, choking Mackengel out and showcasing that in the world of MMA, actions inside the cage speak louder than pre-fight antics. to work. Mackengale just trying to power his way to his feet. Mark's got the clasp band, he's got the seatbelt. He's got one butterfly hook. We know that Zico has the power to get out of situations like this. I mean, he does have that raw power, but Mark Hume is a technician. This is the absolute worst place for Zico Mackengale right now. Yeah, he's been able to power his way out of submissions or, or grappling exchange in the past of Zico Mackengale, but Mark Hume certainly has the strength to match him here. Gonna, the the jitsu, the grappling technique of Mark Hume is absolutely suffocating. Gives you absolutely no openings whatsoever. Just a couple of left hooks Mark coming in from him. Well, we remember Simon when he would take those times off. He was on the grappling circuit in a very, very big way. Got some elbows now from him. Now, he was indeed. Yeah, he's taken taps before from some highly regarded jiu-jitsu practitioners. Has Mark Hume. 
I mean, this really is his bread and butter. Just starting to go to work, but just controlling back and Galen now. Happy to go to work in half guard. He's going to use his head control. He's pushing Zico up against the fence. He's trying to get back up to his feet. He's going to try and get his back. He's got the net. Oh, there it is. It's a bit to the side. Like that for Zico. Now he's fully mounted. Zico. Another elbow for Mark Hume. McIngale's going to take these Zico's shots. He's got to move. He's got nowhere to go, Simon. That's the problem. He, he's looking for a way out, and he's got nowhere to go, and all he does is have time against him. We are under two minutes, but it's going to feel like an eternity underneath. Mark Hume grinding him with those elbows. Hume's tearing off now. A couple of shots now. He's got his back. He's got it underneath. It looks in really deep, Cyrus. He's got a class now, he's cranking it. He ain't going nowhere, this fight is going to be over. It's not underneath no as much. No way gets out of this, Mac or does he? McIngale's trying to cut it out. Oh, that is tight. Now it's really Shut deep. It down. McIngale is trying Mighty to, trying to he's tapping and it's over. And there it is. We got a new champion. Once the champion, once he was able to clap it on.